this is an old, I, this is a poem I saw in Playboy magazine in 1972, written by Shel Silverstein. I thought it was a pretty cool poem, so I threw a 145 on it and sang it for years, and a lot of people have done it since, different, uh, different ways. It's called The Winner, about a guy who gets some out of bar fights. It's about 20 verses long, but I'm only gonna, I, ch I cherry picked a few out of it. Well, the hulk of a man with a beer in his hand, he looked like a drunk old fool. But I knew if I hit him right, I could knock him off that stool. But everybody said, be careful, let's tie the man be cool. He's had a whole lot of fights, he's always come out the winner. Well, I'd had about five too many, so I walked up tall and proud. I faced his back and I faced the fact he never stooped or bowed. I said, Tiger Man, you're a pussycat. The hush fell on the crowd. I said, let you and me go outside. We'll see who's the winner. Well, he gripped the bar with a hairy hand and he braced against the wall. He slowly looked up from his beer. My God, that man was tall. He said, son, I see you're a scrapper. So just before you fall, I'm going to tell you a little what it means to be a winner. He said, you see these bright white smiling teeth? You know they're not my own. Mine rolled away like chiclets down the streets of San Antonio. But I left that person cursing, nursing seven broken bones. And he only broke three of mine, and that made me the winner. Well, this broken back was the dying act of handsome Harry Clay. That sticky since on natty night, I stole his wife away. And that woman, she gets uglier and meaner every day. But I got her, boy. That makes me the winner. I got arthritic elbows. I got dislocated knees. From picking fights with thunderstorms and charging into trees. My nose has been broke so often, I might lose it if I sneeze. You lose a couple of things when you're the winner. Well, my knuckles are so swollen, I can hardly make a fist. Who would have thought old Charlie had a blade taped to his wrist? My blind eyes where he cut me, my good ones where he missed. That's another thing I lost, being the winner. I got a steel plate inside my skull underneath this store-bought hair. My pelvis is aluminum from taking lady stairs. And if you had a man, you could lift me off his chair. I'm a man of steel, but I'm rusted. I'm the winner. Now when I walk, you can hear my pelvis rattle, creak, and crack. From the great Olympic hump off with that nymphomaniac. After which I spent the next six weeks on my back. She walked off smiling, leaving me the winner. Now you remind me a lot of my younger days with your knuckles clenching white. But boy, I'm gonna sit right here. I'm gonna sip this beer all night. And if you gotta prove something by winning some silly fight, okay, I quit. I lose. You're the winner. So I walked out of that bar room, not so tall and proud. And behind me I could hear the hoots of laughter from the crowd. But my eyes still see and my nose still works and my teeth are still in my mouth. And you know, I think that makes me the winner. Thanks for hanging in. That was fun.